I'd like to take a few minutes to walk you through our feed rate calculator. This can be downloaded uh, from our website if you hover over the home menu and then over here on the right click on downloads. It'll bring you to this page here uh, so you can click on this uh, icon here to download it to your desktop uh, or there's, it's also available as an Android or iPhone app. So if we look at the uh, desktop version I'll just click on that and I'll just save that to my desktop. And now that's downloaded, just click on it and then click on run. And first time that you run it, it gives you this uh, disclaimer uh, to use for informational purposes, etc. So um, important to keep in mind is that uh, the feed rates here are meant to be an indication of um, feed rates and uh, not necessarily uh, representative of uh, cycle time, so you can't just simply take the inches per minute that you have in a part and uh, divide um, one of these speeds into it to get a cycle time, because that doesn't take into account machine acceleration and deacceleration, but is meant to give you an idea of um, feed rates and differences between thicknesses and materials and pumps and such. So, so when you first start it up, uh, it'll default to uh, mild steel one inch. Uh, you can go into this menu here, select different materials. So if we wanted to look at uh, stainless steel, maybe half inch thick, we can click into the thickness box and uh, change the thickness. You'll see as you uh, change your material that this machinability index changes. So materials that are softer than steel or will cut quicker than steel will have a um, machinability index greater than one. Steel is one. And then um, materials that cut slower than steel will be less than one. So got that and then down here you select your uh, nozzle orifice combination so this is going to be based on the uh, the pump size that you're looking at so a, uh, for example a 30 horsepower pump which puts out uh, 0 0.6 gallons per minute of water you can run a uh, 10 thousandths orifice and a uh, typically a 30 thousandths abrasive nozzle uh, so you've got a menu of different uh, nozzle combinations here right now we've got a, a 50 horsepower pump selected if I click on this uh, red number here, it'll allow me to choose a different pump. So if I did want to look at a, a 30 horsepower pump, I can change that and click on OK. And then uh, if I change my uh, nozzle orifice combination, so say, for example, I tell it that I want to run a 1440 nozzle combination with a 30 horsepower pump, uh, that's not possible because to run a 14 thousandths orifice at uh, 60,000 PSI, you need just under a gallon per minute of water and the 30 horsepower pump puts out the, uh, the 0 0.6 so you need to drop down to the uh, the 1030 nozzle combination and then you've got your pressure setting and uh, typical ab abrasive flow rate and then you've got your range of uh, cutting speeds um, and then if you click on one of these speeds and click on the little uh, button here uh, it'll show you information as far as click on the image it'll show you the uh, indication of edge condition. So general rule of thumb, as you go faster, edge quality gets rougher and you get more taper. Uh, and then over here, it gives you information as far as um, dollars per inch of cutting, uh, how many inches per hour and uh, estimated cost per hour. All these uh, numbers are coming from this cost area. If you click on the cost button here, uh, you've got um, consumable parts cost for the cutting head and the pump. Uh, this labor, labor and overhead field here can be used to capture other costs on the on your system, like uh, grates or high pressure between the uh, the gantry and the pump, etc. Uh, you've got energy, electricity. You got your cost for water, and then what you're paying for abrasive. So you can adjust those numbers, and you'll see that as you go faster, uh, your cost per inch goes down because you're using the same amount of abrasive, uh, but cutting faster, of course, so uh, you can see that. And then if you do decide that, hey, I want to look at potentially cutting with a 50 horsepower pump instead. So if we look, for example, at the good, which is three inches per minute, and then we go up to a 50 horsepower pump. So we'll change this to 50 horsepower. And now we can run the 1440 nozzle combination because a 50 horsepower pump puts out 1.1 gallons per minute of water. Um, so now we can cut 
4.4 inches per minute. So it's a pretty significant speed increase to go from a 30 to a 50 horsepower pump. And then also for people who are doing uh, primarily thicker material, one inch and thicker, uh, we often will recommend either a 60 or 75 horsepower pump. And with that, you can run even a larger nozzle or larger orifice and cut even faster. So if right now we're at 4.4 and we go up to a uh, 75 horsepower pump, a uh, 75 horsepower pump can put out 1.6 gallons per minute, which means you can run a 16 thousandths orifice. Uh, the other thing we need to change is this abrasive flow rate. So uh, typically we'll run about uh, 1.6 pounds per minute of abrasive when we're doing the, um, the 1640 nozzle combination. So after I click in there and change that and then click out of that box, then we'll see the feed rate goes up to, uh, to 5.4 inches per minute. Um, so you'll note there that when I wanted to go up to the 1640 nozzle combination it's not available by default in that list uh, so you can just select uh, whatever nozzle combination just click into that, that box and then just backspace and type in the uh, six there for the 16 thousandths orifice so. and then you can also add materials so if you've got a uh, material that's not in this list but uh, maybe you've done some test cuts and you have an idea of what speed it'll cut at I can click on this add remove button and um, type in the uh, the name of the material. And then it's uh, machine ability index. Again, this would be based off of tests that you had done. And click on OK. So then that'll be in this list here. And then you can change your, your thicknesses and see the, uh, the speed. So if you have any questions on how to use that, let me know. Thanks. Bye.